tightening my hose. I started having to convince everybody that mead was a thing. And then Matt tried the mead that I was making, and now we are convincing everybody mead is a thing. Pretty much. So, yeah. I remember my first taste of mead was the stuff that I actually brewed. So nothing was a complete failure because it taught me a lot, but I did have a few explosions in my dorm room. It was third north at NYU. It was booze. <laughs> I was 18 in college. And it was free. And it was free. I'll drink yeah. some with you. Maddie, do you want some too? Sure. All right. For almost seven years, I was trying to find the exact type of mead that I liked. So I trialed and errored pretty much everything. Mead's perception in general is pretty interesting. And when I say mead, I mean honey wine and not meat, which a lot of people think we're saying normally. We brew our honey wine right here. This is a meadery that Matt and I created together, all wise meadery. We start by receiving our honey delivery. We are considered a farm winery, which means that we use all New York local state products. In the same way that New York pizza and bagels are delicious due to all the ingredients, we think the same thing with our mead. Where your bees are living, how they're pollinating, and what they're pollinating is going to make your honey taste so different. So subsequently, when you make a mead out of that honey, it tastes vastly different. We buy a lot of honey, about 3,000 pounds of honey at any time. We mix it together with warm water until we pump them in in batches into our fermenter until it's full. Then we mix it with our yeast, and uh, after we're done with that, it's pretty much ready to ferment. And after its three-month primary fermentation, uh, we actually send it through our filtration system. Then we pump it into our, another fermenter uh, until we send it up to our bottling line, which, if you follow me, I'll show you. So we send it up into the machine. It fills them, corks them, labels them, and then This is an old Scandinavian symbol. It's called the Volk nut. Kind of generally represents rebirth. Mead is the oldest alcohol known to man. It was first found sometime 3000 BC. In general, a lot of the perception about it is kind of this antique drink. While Matt and I both love that kind of stuff, we also knew that in modernity, mead needed to change a little bit. Just like beer and just like wine, there is a range that mead can have. When I tell people what the flavor is like, I don't like to explain it too much. I could talk your ear off, but I think you should just probably drink it. <laughs>